Hey guys, Charles Calloway, financial advisor to small business owners and their teams. Today, we're fortunate to be here with my friend, Tony DeRico. listening to your story and I, 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 I love, this is not the first time I heard it obviously mm -hmm. but I, I a couple of things I want to zero in on one is is uh, you're extremely coachable and and so you you've talked to people along your journey and you were willing to take input mm -hmm. and that's kind of guided like Bill uh, Bill Davis and mm -hmm. and, and uh, perhaps even the young lady that recommended you go to the health insurance place in the mm -hmm. first place and then you went through that special course when you were when you were in customer service and went into the claims mm -hmm. area. Uh, but the other thing that I, I think points to something, some people want to go into something that's centered around sales without really understanding their product. Right. I mean, right. You, you think about it. If if Who would you rather buy an automobile from? A person who's who engineered the automobile or is a mechanic of automobiles mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. someone who's at least gone through that career path? Right and then started selling cars, mm -hmm. or would you rather just get someone who just kind of showed up and he has great sales skills, great right. communication right. skills? Right. There's a big difference. There is. Okay? There is. And you come from a place of, you know, I want to I want to serve the people, mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the client, instead of being beholden to the company. Right. And that was the other thing. You transitioned yeah. to a place where you say, you know what, I don't want to just work for one particular company, as good as it may be. Mm -hmm. I want to be more accountable to my clients instead of accountable to the place I work. Right. That, that captured it? That captured it right there. Yeah.